y'all welcome back to our channel i am pretty excited about this topic because it is one that we see people drop little hints about all the time and it is their fear and this is their fear of writing all together we're going to talk about uh, eight topics on this and ways you're letting your fear hold you back from being the successful writer that you want to be so i'm super excited about this one but first don't forget about spellbound it's right there isn't it beautiful it's coming out september 13 2022 and you can get it at anywhere books are sold so go and pre-order it now and if you enjoyed this video do not be afraid to give it a thumbs up then to subscribe to our channel because we love new subscribers and to turn on the notification bell so you never miss a Friday upload. So let's jump into these fears and talk a little bit about them, what they are and some ways that you can overcome them. So the first fear is like, the obvious fear. I mean, if you're afraid to do this, then you're never going to get started. The fear of sharing your work. If you don't ever share your work, then you're not going to get very far. I don't know exactly how to tell you how to get over that fear just because that's a really personal fear. Some of these we can tell you how to get over. This one, I don't think we can tell you how to get over this one because it's a personal fear. But you have to figure out what it is that you're actually scared of on this one and work kind of work through it. The best thing if you're really scared, I would say is to start by using a pen name and to put it somewhere low pressure like Wattpad where you can take it down if you want to very easily um, with little consequence. Everybody, especially when you put out that first work, you're scared because you feel like it's not up to par with everybody else's. Look, <laughs> my first work <laughs> was not what my work is now. You Rachel's first work is not what her work is now. You got to start somewhere. You've got to have that one springboard work that gets you in there and know that if you're a good writer, you'll continue to improve. And that's okay because many of us go back and we would read some of our favorite authors' books and those first books are like, Oof. Ugh. And <laughs> it is not their best usually. You can always go back and fix it. Like I've like totally re like redone Cruel Trust. So I like redone yeah. it and everything. So I mean you can you can always go back and fix your first work later if you want to. Assuming you move forward from that fear, what's the what's the next one, Crystal? Is your fear of social media. <sighs> and I'm going to talk specifically about TikTok. Yes. Because this is what started this whole entire idea for this video. A fear of TikTok. You have no room as a writer if you want to sell books one day to be afraid of social media. Social media is going to be your biggest ally in your book sales. And if you are saying, I'm going to stick to Twitter and I'll throw it up here, we'll tell you how we feel about certain social medias and whatnot, but Twitter is not our favorite. And the reason Twitter is not our favorite is because it's usually groups of like-minded people, which ends up being groups of writers. Writers are not usually the ones because they're so concentrating on their own books to go out and spread the word about yours. You need people that are solely readers. And what's so funny though, is that on TikTok, we do. We do do that. We do oh, it. that's true. We do it all the time, but for some reason, the people on Twitter don't. I don't know why. Mm -mm. It's like, it's like Twitter is like, Twitter, first of all, is just a monstrosity. Like, I hate it. But it, book talk is book talk. You notice that? It's not writer talk. It's not reader talk. It's book talk. It's all about books. Yes. And then Twitter is writer community. That's the difference. It's time to get over your fear of TikTok. We'll throw a link to a video up here where we talk about TikTok. And if you're afraid of showing your face, other ways that you can do this, because we know of quite a few people who do not want to show their face on TikTok and do relatively well because they come up with smart ways of engaging other people. Number three, your fear of what your family, friends, coworkers, etc. 
will think about you. I understand that everybody's family is different. If your family really loves you, and I hope that they do, because that's what family's there for, they're not gonna disown you. If my little mama, who's like probably the most naive person on the face of the planet, can still love me after the things that she knows that we write about, <laughs> pretty sure it's okay. If my dad can read like the first third of Edge of the Veil and still look me in the face and ask questions about it, not questions about that part, but still questions about the book and be cool. I think we're good to go. Your look, your, your little, your little sweet Christian mama. She's okay. She's all right. She's read it. And if they don't want to read it, they don't have they're to not gonna read it. Yeah. And that's perfectly fine. Yeah. Number four is your fear of your ability to learn something new. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but I definitely think this speaks a lot to uh, the older people that might be watching, people that are done with their days of institutional learning. Writing is a journey that requires you to continue to learn. And whether it be social media or it be about learning about your craft and how to get your ideas across to readers in a really clear way, there is always something to learn when it comes to writing. And we'll be the first to tell you that with every book that we release, our editors have come in and taught us something new and they've changed the way that we write the next book. And it's kind of a really amazing thing. So definitely let go of the fear of learning something new. Quit using it as a crutch. Mm. I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine here on Twitter. I don't need to learn TikTok. I'm fine. I already know how to use commas. Mm -hmm. That's not the point. You do need to learn different things. You need to learn how to tell your stories in better, stronger ways. So don't be afraid to say, I don't know. We don't need to know everything. I don't know. And then we go Google it or we watch a YouTube video. Mm -hmm. Number five, your fear of getting hateful comments from readers. There's a whole thing called delete comment if you're on Wattpad. It's a nice little button. You just click it and then you click it again and the comment is gone. If you're afraid of the bad reviews on Goodreads, so am I. <laughs> That's why you just stay off of there. <laughs> like, just don't do it. <laughs> Remember, your book's not for everybody. Yep. It's just the way it goes and some people aren't going to like it and... That's okay. Number six is your fear of getting constructive criticism from your peers. And we'll widen this out and say not just writers, but readers, publishers, uh, anybody that could come in and really kind of pull apart the story that you wrote. But there's a difference between being a hater and getting hateful comments and somebody giving you some constructive mm -hmm. criticism. Constructive criticism is essential to becoming a good writer. Let me tell you that one more time. Constructive <laughs> criticism is essential to you becoming a good writer. If everything you get is praise and you're subpar, you will remain subpar. But if somebody comes in and they, in a kind way, share things that you could have done better, you'll become better. Mm -hmm. We don't get better by always being praised. Number seven, you fear telling strangers you're a writer because you haven't met some outlandish goal. You haven't published a book with a big five publisher <laughs> or you haven't made the New York Times bestseller list. The New York Times bestseller list is not even the one that you really want to get on. It's all about money. You want to get on like the USA Today or something like that. Screw that. Like, did you write something? Did you write a book? Guess what? You're a writer. Yay. So you can tell people that. And hey. I, no, I do too. I, I still, still struggle. struggle with that. Yeah. But I will say the other night we went out to eat and I do carry my business cards in my little wallet. And this lady was talking and she goes, oh, what? Where do you write? Like, <clears throat> what do you write? And I was like, I have a business card if you'd like it. I gave her the business. Both of them. I gave her my personal and I gave her our business card because I was like, I have to let go of this because there is something to be said by about looking somebody in the face, learning about them, and then having something physical when you walk away and we had a moment. She was a better chance of us gaining a new reader than just some rando. I know, so it's hard. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to have to hand out my business card. And I did. Number eight. Let's face it, it goes along with what I was just saying. 
there is a fear of success mm -hmm. because usually if there's success, there comes a downfall. There's high expectations. How do you top that success once you've had great success? Stop. Because even if you only had one successful book, the, and every book after that never met that, that level of success, at least you had the one successful book. And it doesn't mean that the other books didn't have some type of success as well. Just maybe not as much success as the first book. Stop shooting yourself in the foot when it comes to being successful. We just talked about this in last week's video about letting people cheat you out of your wins. And when you are afraid of your own success, you're cheating yourself out of a win. Moral of the story, stop being afraid. Because if you're afraid, you're never going to get anywhere past the dream that's like distant of being a writer. And as always, write what you love.